there. Welcome to my video on how to manage and customize your Thinkific email notification settings. In this video, I will show you how to find your email notifications from Thinkific and which email notifications that I recommend uh, for my business to show you the kind of logic and sort of thought flow behind why I chose to enable and uh, disable some notifications. And then I'll also show you where to change the email uh, reply to uh, so that you can see where the emails go to when your students need help. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, log into your Thinkific school. I am currently logged into my partner portal. And then I'm going to show you two key areas to remember for your email notification settings. So one is support your students. And then two here is this gear icon for settings. Uh, these are the key uh, areas that you will always default to for um, changing notifications and the reply to emails. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the support your students. And under here, I'm going to look for notifications. So now under notifications, I see there are student notifications and admin notifications. So it's important to see that under student notifications, there are general settings. Uh, with regards to the Thinkific site. There's a course welcome email notification settings. There are also settings that apply to course completion emails and bundle welcome emails. So uh, as you see, uh, in the general settings, students will receive a notification from Thinkific uh, whenever they create their account. Uh, this is helpful because it'll tell them uh, when they created their account, what their username is, and to remember um, how to reset their password. These are kind of just general information that will help them navigate their platform. Uh, there's also a weekly reminder, so that uh, kind of encouraging students and telling them and cheering them on and letting them know you're doing great. You know, I think this is a great kind of progress reminder. Um, and then discussion replies is one of the challenging areas. And so this is where, like in a course where you have 50 or more students, it can get overwhelming if you get an email notification every time a student replies. So instead of uh, allowing the discussion replies, what I do is just make a note to kind of check in uh, at least once a day uh, to my discussions. And uh, once I log in, there will be usually notifications that tells me uh, when someone's replied so that I don't have to look at the email. The reason why I also don't want to enable discussion replies is that um, it'll easily fill up my inbox if I have a course with 50 students and every time the student chooses to reply uh, to a conversation or thread throughout a course, it's going to um, create inbox overflow very quickly. Uh, so that's sort of uh, how I've decided uh, to not enable uh, discussion reply notifications. And then receipts is really important. Uh, this is also where I think you should just allow it because uh, this helps students keep track of purchases and uh, for their own uh, budget, um, budgeting and accounting. Uh, next up is the course welcome email. So currently, these are the courses that I've set up here in my partner account. And I haven't decided right now, but I will choose to enable uh, email notifications for all of them because uh, it's important to welcome every student to the course, uh, let them know where things are, uh, set the expectation that we are a resource and we're here to help them. This sort of create that kind of welcome and set up that kind of rapport and that kind of professionalism and that kind of um, communication as well as kind of friendliness with my uh, students in the course. And the next thing is course completion email. Now, normally I would love to uh, enable all these, but what I do differently in my business is that I don't allow these emails to go through because I do a separate thing where I take all the students who are enrolled and then I send them a custom certificate and a specialized um, bonus for completing the course. I think this is important in an era where online courses are very uh, common and students buy a lot of courses to set the experience different that when you buy from my course, I incentivize you to complete whether or not um, it is a live course or not. And so I do something different. That's why I don't allow uh, I disable the email notifications for the courses. The next one is a bundle welcome email. So similarly to the course welcome email, as you've seen above, I do uh, enable a bundle welcome email. It's the same process that I use. 
And then I just want to set the expectation of, you know, I'm here for you. How can I help? Please don't hesitate to reach out and just kind of be friendly and kind of be very kind of approachable um, kind of uh, manner with my students. And so these are all the notifications on the student side. Let's take a look at the admin notifications. And this is something to consider um, as you decide to expand and grow your business to hire someone to sort of manage and kind of deal with uh, all the influx of um, notifications and responses to discussions, to assignments, um, just uh, little things uh, that you can delegate out so that your time can be focused on creating other products or uh, supporting the business and growing the business. And so the admin notifications that Think of it sends out are grouped into sign up subscriptions and student engagement. So right now I have uh, new signups uh, and then I haven't enabled new orders and new leads, but I'll go ahead and enable them. And then subscription canceled. These are sort of important areas of the business that I do want to be notified by think you think about anytime there's a change. So I've enabled them. Now student engagement is where it's kind of tricky because the, the issue here is that as um, I have more students in a course and lots of submissions and posts, it can be very overwhelming. So instead of sending notification, allowing notifications, uh, what I do is just log in and check every time there's any kind of new updates um, and also um, assignment submissions as well. So the idea here is check, uh, you can decide for yourself, you want notifications every time there's a new post. Um, also, if you also want to keep track of new posts and comments as they are created, uh, sometimes uh, this is nice, but as your students increase, this will um, be very overwhelming for your inbox. And then next is assignment submission. Uh, so this can be done um, many different ways. Some people have it done through Dropbox or Google Drive, um, but I think having it done through Thinkific is really nice so that uh, when I get an assignment turned in from a student, I'll automatically get notified. And then I can sort of send out a welcome or a thank you email to everyone who submitted their assignments on time. So that's why I kind of like to have those notifications set up. And then the same thing goes with discussions. Uh, since I've decided not to enable notifications with discussions for students, the same goes for me as an admin. I don't necessarily want to get an email every time there's a new discussion, there's a new reply. Instead, I just choose to log in and check for any new updates in the discussions. And then last is the review. So if someone leaves a review for my course, I definitely want to be notified so that I can thank them and maybe send them a coupon to buy something else uh, later on. And then something else that I haven't I talked about that I wanted to cover is that uh, these uh, notification emails will come directly from Thinkific. So uh, if you want to uh, change it so that it doesn't come from Thinkific and it comes from just, let's just say your domain name, like it could be like genepack.com or let's just say it was engineeringcreatively.com, I can change that but I would have to, um, those features are considered pro features. And so you'd have to upgrade to a pro or plus plan uh, to allow for what we call uh, email white labeling. Um, so that's something to consider if, you know, sending out notifications from getting notifications for yourself and for your students come from at thinkific.com makes it look like your business isn't professional, then you may want to expand your business so that you can upgrade to a pro and plus plan. Uh, for some people, this is really important, especially if you sell to B2B, uh, because you want to sort of have a very customized and uniform and consistent brand. And so that means uh, having emails come from you rather than at Thinkific, because ultimately, if there's any questions about the course or any kind of technical issues, students come to you uh, instead of Thinkific. Thinkific is just the kind of host of your content and kind of helps you manage the business. And then last but not least, I want to go to the settings here and show you uh, the email section. So there is a site email section here, and this is where you can uh, change the emails uh, so that they go to the appropriate person. So as you hire someone in your business and uh, to help you kind of manage support for students and kind of oversee kind of any technical challenges that students are having, you may decide to have like a support at your domain name.com email. And that's where you can put that here so that uh, anytime someone is on your site, they'll always see this support email that kind of distinguishes from a general reply email. 
So currently, uh, like I said, if you're on a uh, general plan that's not a pro or plus plan, I think they call it the um, basic plan or the starter plan, um, the emails all come from notifications at thinkific.com. Uh, they all, and the notifications will say uh, no reply at thinkific.com. And so what happens is that uh, when someone replies because they just want to reply to the email with a question, um, all the emails will go to the email here, which is in the reply to email. So uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, leave a question, leave a comment, uh, give this video a like, and subscribe if you uh, want to see more Thinkific tutorials. Um, please feel free to kind of uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I really appreciate it, and have a great day.